7.3 all reliable and kind of all low on tire air. So we're gonna get this thing backed up to the shop here, get some air in the tires. Stay tuned. Fender players on the truck. Well, you can see the type of uh, metal pieces out there, right? Yeah. So, we're getting an early start today, boys. And girls, I know there's some ladies watching cold start up here in the dirty max there's the old nasty red flatbed let me just show you this truck real quick this truck is something else we actually tried to do a giveaway with this truck believe it or not it didn't get picked somehow but you know everybody has a preference I, we did also have the dually up for grabs and those of you who may not have seen the dually who are newer to the channel the dually was a uh, five speed 12 valve with a dual disc clutch a bunch of billet parts in that it had, give or take, about 400-ish horsepower, 420 maybe. But for a dually and a 12-valve with a 5-speed, it was a freaking ton of fun for that truck. I mean, it was a lot of fun. So, anyways, here's the Duramax, the new headlights we got put in there. But uh, we're going to get this thing started up. We've got a big day ahead of us here. We're going to be meeting up with our good friend, Devin. Devin that does all the uh, lift kit stuff suspension stuff and so he'll, he'll do engine work and stuff for us and for friends at least but not just for anybody he'll d-max fired up here so we can leave in a bit so that uh, we can get on the road here in a bit there we go up and running look at these headlights guys keep in mind that you could be winning this 2008 Silverado 2500 Duramax and uh, it is a beautiful beautiful truck we're actually gonna be getting some work done on it this morning I think I kind of told you that told you guys that already also what have you guys been thinking about the daily vlogs I've been bringing those back and it's been uh, it's been a different experience making myself film every day again have you been enjoying it or has it been a little bit tense sometimes when we're trying to both vlog at the same time, it gets kind of hard because I don't want to put your content in my content. Yeah, I guess Because, like, I don't want to give away stuff yeah. for yours. So yeah. I can, like, watch when I post. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of finicky when you've got two vloggers in the same truck everywhere you go. But, you know, in the same sense, though, she can film a lot of, you know, different conversations, different topics, different things in between what I film and we can still make it all happen because uh, a lot of times what she can pick up in her videos is a lot of stuff that I keep out of mind which a lot of people still like to see thousands of people still want to see that too so anyways just let me know what you guys think have you guys been enjoying the daily vlogs yes or no leave that down in the comment section below So, uh, how about those comments about that bourbon? <laughs> oh, it's all right. People, people always say what they want. Yeah. It's all right. Some people loved it, though. Yeah, some people liked it, but hey, I'm not scared to try anything once. <laughs> some, uh, some people are like, dude, I don't understand why you've got all these diesel trucks and you weren't using them. I'm like, first off, those are all my dad's trucks, right. and I don't have a gooseneck hitch on mine, <laughs> and our gooseneck slowed it down, so, so I'm, I'm like, yeah. okay. You know what? Well, I could have brought our uh, dually and gear snake, but I just want to see if the Suburban would pull it. It's not it that did. much weight, it was just on the front of the trailer. Well, see, people are going crazy because they don't realize it's a 7 inch lift. Yeah. So you're taking 1500 springs and stretching them. Well, you got to think, we put all that weight on that trailer, 
and then it just pushed it down until it got to the capacity of back to a 1500 yeah. coil. You know, so, yeah, so I was like, I don't care. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really that bad. Cool. Yeah. Okay. It looked good. <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us. Yeah. yeah. When you put this uh, drain back in, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna take it out and uh, redo it. The O rings, like when you push it in, mm -hmm. they popped out. So they're sticking halfway out. So I was just gonna rip them out and start over on that. But no, I, I, I got the lines on here, but I got them loose and everything. Okay. Because when I run the piping. I want to. You might have to like, readjust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to hide them and everything. In this turbo, believe it or not, a lot of people give me crap for it, but I bought it off eBay. Oh yeah. It's just a remanufactured HX35. But I told him, I said, this is since it's just a play truck. Exactly. I'm like, for me, I, Dude. I don't, I don't really care that much. Honestly. I hear you. Dude. Even if the turbo goes, I get a new one. But it's really not that as big long, of a deal. As long as you don't have play in it and it holds air and doesn't blow oil, dude, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was like, I may put like 2,000 miles on this setup, yeah. maybe anyways. It's really just for content, it's a content piece. It's cool, it's different. I got um, at my house, I have a 90, uh, 91 mil turbo, and I got a 454 that I'm gonna try and build and put in this uh, 53 Nash. <laughs> That'd be sweet. So, uh, you want a first gen project at some point too? Yeah, I do. I want, like, I see that picture of one looks just like this. I, uh, we follow. I follow the guy on YouTube, but I don't remember his name. But he he's done a lot to his, like internally and all kinds of stuff. And dude, it's just crazy. Like, I was watching his runaway videos when they were tuning it. Uh, they did. Oh, those are scary. Guns. I those... know. <laughs> My old Duramax, I sold it to a kid, and the turbo was going out. I told him, and he was leaving from a gas station. He said it just ran away on him, and he freaked out. <laughs> So yeah. you shut it off and couldn't do nothing anymore. Poof. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen some of the videos and guys are trying to like max out the fuel screws and stuff and they're like, it's, it's you gotta it's have somebody that. who knows yeah. what they're doing there, you, your truck will just go. Yeah, it's just more than just turning a screw, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like, really, really a, fine tuning. Oh yeah, there's a lot that can happen. They give it governors and all that, but then like people start turning it up and push past those pieces inside and it just holds it and it just rah, gives it fuel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So yeah, the first in here we gotta we gotta get this thing wrapped up because I've been telling you guys I've been wanting to do it for so long and I just never got it finished. So I just brought it by here to get a little more help. Remember the mice ate up our paperwork. This is what I got on my bike. What year is this? Fifteen. Fifteen. High, this is a high country. It's locked, but the all interior is a uh, white carbon fiber. It's pretty badass. Get ready to do a whole bunch of motor work. We gotta pull the tranny next, but we're not gonna pull it. We're gonna take it to the guy. He'll pull the tranny, build it, flush it, everything for uh, 4200. Yeah, it's not bad. It'll, it'll be warranted with a whole bunch of Suncoast parts and everything for uh, over a thousand horse. So that'd be cool. Sweet. He's gotta run a whole bunch of orange accents and everything. It's pretty sweet. Missing a whole bumper. <laughs> the bumper's right there. It's up on the lift. Yeah. Devin, I, don't, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know anything about lift kit stuff. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I, I just buy the boxes. I, I don't know how to install it. It's easy. We're good. We're good. Trust me. A blind guy can do it. You know? I, I told <laughs> them, I've told them, you've done a lot of trucks. You've done a handful? A couple? Oh, dude. I've done too many to count. So more than enough to count on both hands, right? Yeah, on like the world's hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he says, Dodges are the easiest, Ford's probably come second, and Duramax is probably the biggest pain in the butt to do. I'll just take his word for it. How many of these trucks do you see that are worse than this in terms of underneath? Like, oh, dude, modded. Canadian trucks, by far. Canadian trucks. Yeah. <laughs> dude, like, I, that's all I used to lift at the shop um, because they do mostly like dealers and yeah stuff, so they don't do a lot of walk-ins so that's why they charge people crazy for walk, like a regular walk-in oh, Jesus that's because they're like um, we could just skip this and do a brand new truck yeah and get it on the lift okay. but I mean this truck this is the first time actually we can get like underneath to look at it so you can see the cap corners and the rockers and stuff it's not in bad shape for an oh. elite no, I've actually seen some that are starting to rust up in here.
pretty good. Their beds are really known for it. Like yeah. all Chevy's uh, beds and everything. I don't know why. Yeah, I was just, this is the first time I've really actually looked under here. Oh, yeah. I've never looked under here. Well, you can look underneath. <laughs> yeah. They're all of them. People give me crap if I like get under stuff like was jacked up and I like looked underneath for a second. They're like, dude, did you kill? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's all right. Like, like take, a, take a peek. You guys can see what this thing looks like underneath. Because this, I'm sure you've seen on the social media, it's going to be given away. Yeah. And that ends uh, on March 26th. That'll be cool for whoever gets it with all the stuff you go on to do to it. I know. Could you imagine a went in a truck like this for like the oh, cost man. of a sticker or a t-shirt god <laughs> or that hat <laughs> oh, i know i could only imagine it's freaking like nuts. i told my wife because i entered in uh the, the first I, gen now that i, rem I remember yeah. your your uh name popping up one yep, time in the yep. first gen and uh for the longhorn yeah. and i told my wife i was like if i win i was like I'll just get the long, like one longhorn, and then I can build that up for you. And she's like, "Well, you can put it on 40s." So I'm like, "I'm not getting another big truck for you to drive." Like, <laughs> I was like, "If I buy it, I'm just going to build it so it's a little monster and short and fat." And yeah, yeah. When we were talking about, because when we're going to get married, I'm like, "Do you want to drive your truck every day, or do you want to drive something bigger?" And and I'm like, "You could drive the longhorn. I'm going to get myself a new truck." I'm like, "Or we can just build your truck just like the longhorn, because yeah. now her truck has heat and everything." And didn't it have heat before? It didn't. It just goes out on those oh. trucks after so long. So then now it's got heat, AC. Yeah, oh, they had to rip yeah. the whole dash apart. Oh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it's good now. It's good. So we're gonna show you guys the Suburban that was in the video the other day. So Everyone's can... joking about. Yeah. Some people love it and some people are like, dude, get a diesel. I'm like, <laughs> it's. Cr I've had plenty of diesels <laughs> and like, I don't care. Like we have so many diesels now that I just, I could go grab one of the farm trucks and just pull a trailer. But I had that Tahoe that I had. I had everything powder coated on that. That was sweet. Um, I had a four inch on the rear of it BDS. And then I had a six and a half inch BDS on the front of it. I just like the way squats sit. I don't really care what other people think, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm 28 years old. I have kids. I can do what I want, you know. So. And it's like, it's, it, it kind of works as a family vehicle and, yeah. and your play truck, so. Exactly. <laughs> like, and I daily drive this stuff, you know? Yeah. If I build something, I daily drive it. Like, I built a old Ford uh, that was on 46s. I daily drove it until I was at somewhere with a couple buddies. And they went, oh, let's do a burnout, man. And I was like, I don't know if I can get these 46s to break loose. <laughs> and I put it in gear and spooled it up and just dumped it. And it was boom, and broke the rear end right out of it. Just snapped the whole guts of it and I was like oh that's awesome yeah but no this is my suburban when I got the lift it they said it was a seven and a half level I'm like okay cool well I put it on and this is their seven and a half level from rough country yeah. this just goes to show that when you buy a lift kit stuff ain't true yeah like they're it's not, not always 100% no, accurate no it's not at all like I'm still waiting on my uh I ordered aftermarket uh brake lines for it and they didn't send me brackets, and I'm not gonna take brackets and put them on. I hate I hate brackets. I'm all about like making stuff look a lot cleaner. So I'll do a brake line that's braided, that's yeah. way longer, just to make it look nicer. So I just drive like that. I don't care. Then like my I can button all that up, but I don't care. These rims actually came off of another Duramax I had, and I sold it and kept the rims. And I got um, wool adapters from a Chevy six lug to a Chevy. Uh, eight on six five and put those on that's why it sticks out so far but i mean it looks cool it's different i've always my friends know me from doing crazy stuff i mean i was telling them i said actually when i saw your tahoe it looked almost the exact same yeah. but i had the green spikes yep. spike lugs and all that stuff obviously shorter a little bit shorter on the oh, rear yeah. end i said but i said after i saw that i wanted to do like an 07 08 escalade build yeah I never did it, but I'm like, hey, I talked about it in a video. I'm like, yeah, I love doing Escalade, Escalade build. And at the time, it's because I saw that guy's Tahoe at, you know, at the shop. And I'm like, that was oh, yeah. the coolest thing. And everybody was like, oh, I'll do a freaking Escalade build. And I never did it. But I, there's always plenty of time we can still do it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I tell these people. They're like, why haven't you bought this truck, this truck, this? You. I'm like, dude, I bought like 10 trucks in the last year. Like, you can't. Yeah. There's so many out, and they keep coming out so fast. Like, you can't oh, I know. do them all at once. Yeah. And I saw you wanted like an 07 or something. Yeah. My Tahoe was an 07. The Suburban was an 07. Like, I don't care what years they are or anything, but like certain people like certain body styles. And I just like this body style. And 
I well, like these. I like these more than the new <coughs> ones, quite honestly. Yeah, I just do. They My are. My dad does too. Like the newer ones are just. I've built. I've lifted a couple newer ones. They're just. I don't know. Just something about these ones. You can. They're nice still, and you can pick them up cheap. Like. I picked this one up for dirt cheap. And there was one for sale right down the road. Same color as my, my truck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about 10 minutes down the road. It was the uh, same exact red as my oh, Thermax on there. Yep. Dang. I think it was like 8800 bucks or something. Dang. Yep. It's not bad. Yeah, I got this one. I wasn't even looking for a vehicle. My wife sent it to me, and she was like, hey, look at this Suburban. I looked at it, and she was like, well, you want to go look at it? And I was like, yeah, I'll call the guy. I called him. And uh, he's like, yeah, you want to meet up today? I'm like, yeah, I'll stop by, meet up today. And The first question was, will you let me build it? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't even ask that. She, so she, she said, I called her back and I was like, hey, I'm going to buy it. She said, like, okay, well, don't do anything to it. You're going to leave it stock. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. And then so. She comes home one day, it's on 14 ones. <laughs> yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. She, well, Christmas time came around and my buddy bought me the lift kit. For Christmas oh, yeah. and everything. Well, honey, I can't be rude. I got it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, I, I sent the lift kit to him because she wouldn't let me spend no money. And then I sent the lift kit to him and it was four hundred dollars. And uh I was like, dude, I don't care, just buy it. Like because this lift kit, so with this lift kit, this lift kit actually came off of my Tahoe. Yeah. Yep. The, I sold my Tahoe to a gentleman in Ohio. He took the that lift kit I had on off put this lift kit on it and he had a block on the rear and he had this, he had block rear and block in the front on top of this lift and it was 10 inches. And he was like, dude, he was like, it's you. He was like, it came off of your Tahoe. He was like, I don't care to have it this big no more. He was like 400 bucks and you can come get the lift kit. It's all brand new. It was only on the, the Tahoe for a month. And I was like, yeah, cool, man. So <laughs> I sent it to my buddy. I was like, hey, I was like, you know, I got you stuff for Christmas and like buy stuff for your truck. I was like, why don't you buy this for me for Christmas? Hint, hint. He was like, oh, okay. So what you're saying is your wife won't let you buy it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll even pass you some cash. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah, I thought this thing was freaking cool. And uh, it honestly makes me want to do something like this and <coughs> diesel swap it at some point. Oh, yeah. I think it's freaking. I think it's really cool. I, I was telling him, I said, it looks just like the Chevy front end version of the GMC Duramax build that Diesel Brothers did that oh yeah. a little while back. They do cool stuff, man. Like, I was into trucks before they got big and everything, but then I just, I was doing it and I saw that and I'm like, man, I wish I could do something big. Yeah. See, I was going to buy a truck shop, that truck shop that you mm -hmm. that we met at, and um, I got outbidded. So I just was like, I went my separate ways and I just been doing trucks left and right here and... I got plenty of shop space, and trust me, I do a lot of trucks. Like, yeah, this dude does a lot of trucks. Yeah. I was telling him, like, yeah, he's pretty big. He's always building something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm always doing something. I got friends that have crazy stuff, and they want to do crazy stuff. And I got people, like, I had a guy, so I left that truck shop, and yeah. I had a gentleman that, well, I don't even remember the lift kit, but it was a $10,000 lift. And uh, he bought it all and brought it to me, and I put it all on all on he gave me twenty eight hundred dollars for putting it all on yeah i was like hell yeah dude <laughs> and he came from florida yeah. no crap yep and i was like hell hmm. yeah he he drove it down here i took him to the airport he flew home and he said well call me when it's done i called him um two days later because i took my time on it because everything was powder coated and uh he just and you yeah. usually work really quick too at least like with the longhorn stuff because like that oh, stuff yeah. is just like generic out of the box stuff you know but <laughs> well <clears throat> See, I work a full-time job, you know, I yeah. have two kids, I have bills to pay, so when I get off of work on, like, Fridays, I normally have people have their stuff here, and I come straight from work here and get it done. So you work during the week, and then you work on the weekend? Yep. yep. <laughs> like a second job. Oh, yeah. I love it. Like, dude, this is my passion. Trust me, there'll be another shop in Fort Wayne, like, it, but we're going to do everything. We're going to do, like, down to semis, muscle cars. We're, like, right now we're looking for... Um, like good in-ground dynos mm -hmm. so we can do like test tunes on sun on Saturdays and uh, Just have like all the car guys and all the truck guys and all the bikes and everything Just come to one shop and hang out, you know, like you needed like when I was there at that truck shop Dude, I couldn't tell you how many people would come there and just hang out like I thought that people. was the coolest thing yeah. when we were allowed to go back and hang out. You know what I mean? Because exactly. I was like, oh, this is freaking cool. I can film. We can talk, like whatever. Exactly. Like when you have somebody that people that keep coming 
and they feel wanted and comfortable. Like welcomed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They will keep coming back. And, and, and I'm the friendliest person. I will talk to anybody. I will help you do anything. My wife says I'm too nice. I've done so much stuff for people that is way too nice. And hey, you know, I don't care. You, you got to make people happy. You know, if you want people to be happy, then they'll keep coming back to you, you know, for more stuff. For so. sure. But no, the Suburban, she's cool. It's all right. It's third row. You know, it's a family <laughs> round. But it's all right. It's it's got its bugs, but I'll do more stuff to it. But what doesn't, you know? <laughs> yeah, everything everything breaks. Everything has a rub. Everything has a squeak. But it's yeah. cool. Yep. I'm scared to do. Let, like I'll take this thing to the mall, go wash it, and bring it back home and load a trailer with the Cummins on it. I don't care. Or throw it in a mud pit. Yeah. No matter what. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'll throw this thing through. A, a swamp or something. <laughs> That's going to put a wrap on this video. Stay tuned though because Devin is working on the lift kit on the Duramax and then we're going to be doing some stuff on the first gen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway to win this truck. Every $15 you spend on LMP gear is another entry to win. Information down in the description below. Leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.